look, let me just say it right now. Anybody who wants to can steal my preaching. How do you steal information? But see, this is what happens when we get away from the Bible's morality and start inventing our own morality. Let me just teach you something about the Bible. The Bible has a lot of rules in it, right? Who thinks there are a lot of commandments in the Bible? A lot of do's and don'ts. You know what you're not going to find in the Bible? Rules about intellectual property. <laughs> this whole stupid copyright, intellectual property, it's a fraud. It's not biblical. And this is what it is. It's these Hollywood actors and these overpaid, over-worshipped musicians just want to just make multi-million dollars for the rest of the, their life off that song they wrote in the 60s. Yeah. Okay? They don't, they, it's like they just want to live off that for the rest of their life. It's just like, oh, we got to protect that. You know, and it used to be that copyrights would expire after like 25 years. Or they would expire like after 50 years. You know, songs that were written after 1924, the copyright will never expire. 1924. I mean, if you want to have copyright free music, you got to go back before 1924. Literally. Most things after that are copyrighted. And then they just keep extending and extending. It's like, I want to live off this forever and I want my kids and my grandkids. No, you just have to keep working. Right. Can't just do one piece of work and just try to live off the rest of your life. And then it's like, oh, people pirating Microsoft. And oh, they're pirating stuff. Look, I think Bill Gates has enough money. He has so much money, he has extra to spend on sterilizing people in Africa and injecting them with formaldehyde and mercury. And he has enough to, to spoon malto meal into their mouth and everything and vaccinate them with poisons. You know, I think he's got enough money. Who thinks Bill Gates is really suffering because people are pirating Microsoft software? Oh, yeah. So terrible. Oh, and who thinks, who thinks that, that the band U2 is really suffering financially because people are pirating their music? Oh, the internet. Oh, YouTube. Everybody's getting our music for free. It's not fair because I only made like a billion dollars last year. <laughs> who here thinks that Bono is struggling financially right now? These people are overpaid. These people, and then they take all their millions and billions of dollars, and you know what they do? They pay off politicians to make all these copyright laws. Literally, there will be some company down in South America that's like uploading movies to the internet or uploading songs to the internet. We sent down our government a federal like SWAT team type group to go down and raid some warehouse down in South America because they're pirating. You know, it used to be the pirate was somebody that actually shot people. It used to be that a pirate actually robbed people and shot them and killed them and said, ah, made it. You know, now a pirate is somebody who steals somebody's information, stealing intellectual property. Hey, you know what? I don't have any intellectual property. Everything I own is yours. If I could take my brain out of my head and hand it to you and you could take all the information, I'd give it to you right now. Here you go. You know what? This whole thing of intellectual property is stupid. It's a fraud. And you know what? It's part of what's leading us into this one world government. Because they're like, well, we've got to have one world government. Because what if somebody in South America starts uploading the Hollywood movies? <laughs> we got to have a global, you know, we got to be able to send our guys down there to enforce it in South America. Because the internet. Because God forbid, you know, that these Hollywood actors would have to take a zero off the end of their income. It's stupid, folks. But we've all been deceived and we're like, oh man, let's, you know, let's be sure to report everybody who's violating copyright. Let's turn each other in. Isn't that what they say? Report pirated software. We'll give you a $50 reward if you turn in your boss at work. Turn in your boss at work for pirated software. Who's seen those ads? It's a fraud. Show me, in, and, and, and when people say like, well, no, you're just immoral. You just like to pirate stuff. <laughs> yeah, so what? No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, no, no, but here's the thing. But here, look, I, and look, I, here's the thing about when you believe, when you believe like I do that, that intellectual property doesn't exist, you still end up buying stuff all the time. Just because you want the CD, you want the DVD, or it's just more convenient to just pay the money to get it than to sit there. Most people don't even know how to get the stuff for free anyway. But it's just like, ah, you're pirates, you know? It's, it's, it's stupid. It's, and here's what I say to people who want to accuse me of that. I just say this, show me in the Bible. 
well, thou shalt not steal. No, stealing is when you actually take something and, and then they don't have it anymore. Right. <laughs> it's not like you take it and they still have the same amount as you had before. I mean, you know, it's not like Jesus feeding the 5,000 where it just keeps coming. You know, you no, no, no. If you take something and then you take it away from them, that's stealing. If you take it and they still have it, you didn't steal anything. Show me in the Bible. Show me intellectual property. There's all these laws. Show me copyright. Show me patent. I don't see it. I defy anyone to show it to me. But it's, what it does is it slows down the process of people getting information is all it does. You know. And people have all their Jew, all their Jew uh, justifications for it. But you know what? It isn't biblical. Period. <laughs> Okay, so the bottom line is that when we have preaching and we have doctrine, especially about spiritual things, why in the world we copyright? And so I encourage everyone to, to, to pirate everything that I preach. <laughs> People literally, they email me and ask me, hey, do I have permission to preach this point that you made? I'm like, do you think I made that up? I got it from the Bible. <laughs> and hey, half the stuff I preach, I stole from some other preacher. <laughs> Hello? Stealing! You stole my sermon! You plagiarized my sermon! Look, we're all plagiarizing God every week! It's the Bible! Right. Look, if I hear a sermon that I like, I'm going to preach it. Amen. If I hear a title of a sermon, I heard a title of a sermon, but the sermon wasn't that good, I'll do my own sermon, I'll use your title and make it a better sermon. <laughs> what now? <laughs> ah, you saw it! And people, and people sometimes will even... You know, they'll ask me like, hey, can I have permission to upload your sermon to my channel? I'm like, you don't need my permission. Upload every sermon I preach to your YouTube channel. And well, uh, as long as I don't alter it, right, and give you the credit. No, Pre put it up as anonymous. Anonymous preacher. Don't give me any credit. Edit it. Edit it down. <laughs> Chop things out. Add things in. Who cares? It's anything I preach is public domain. For the record, for all eternity, anything I preach is public domain. Upload it, copy it, mirror it, and, and I love it. I love it when people take one of my sermons and they just take one part of the sermon and make it its own YouTube video. And some people have reported it to me like, did you know that this guy's uploading your videos? I'm like, yeah, I just finished emailing him and thanking him for doing that. <laughs> There are like 20, 30 channels on YouTube that carry my sermons like all the time. And I, I hope it becomes two or 300. Give them a different title than what I gave them. Then it'll just get out to more, more people find it. Get it out there. 